get on any kind of fish swimming out in the ocean. So we're actually cruising out right wait, out of wait, our wait, backyard. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> Let's tell the people what really happened today. So I got done with work early-ish today what? What at is... about 2 p.m. Uh -huh. on a Friday afternoon. I thought this was your job. You. Isn't this your job? Well, another business. <laughs> and Christy got the wild idea to go take a vacation somewhere, wild. maybe to California, literally look for a last minute plane ticket. She's like, let's just go somewhere. Yep. Montana, California, maybe go to the Georgia Aquarium in Atlanta. I was ready Atlanta, to pack our bags. Do something. Drive and I was to like, the airport and just go. I was go like, for you the know weekend. what? Let's just go maybe try and catch a cobia. Let's go on the ocean. Yep, so here we are. Woo, beautiful out, you guys. We're gonna just see what's biting. Maybe cobia, Spanish mackerel. We've got all the rigs, all the gear. We've got two nets on board today. And y'all, could not ask for a better day. Absolutely beautiful. It's like the second half of the day, so we've got a little bit of sunlight left. We're cruising out to the first spot. Hopefully, we can get some fish in the boat, do a little catch and cook, y'all. Woo, it is right. swelly out here. All right, guys, first, first can. Here we go. Yeah, I thought I saw brown. Okay, Kobe time. Get in my belly, or Jeff's belly. All right, guys, here we go. All right, y'all. So while I'm editing this video, I just wanted to add this really quick little like tidbit. Christy and I, we cast it on all these different cans. Um, didn't see any cobia. We saw actually a good amount of life. We saw tons of like spade fish um, and just a lot of life and no cobia. But then all of a sudden, it literally felt like the Loch Ness monster like came up and breached the surface. It was these giant leatherback sea turtles. You guys. Like the camera does not do it justice how big these leatherback sea turtles were. So all of a sudden it was like the wind just laid down and we just started seeing all these leatherback sea turtles and we started casting them and this is what happened. <gasps> what? That thing Phobia? was so big. What was? That turtle. Really? That was the biggest turtle I have ever seen in my life. All right, this is good, this speed. Hey, look, big sea turtle. All right, keep going. There's Kobe on him. All right, back it off. Come on, whoa. Babe, we're on. No, I caught a cobia. Really? Yeah. <laughs> here, you want to reel him in? Really? Here, here, get the bucktail ready. Get the bucktail ready. Oh. He'll have another one with him. Okay, check that one. <gasps> cool. Yeah. Look at that. Okay. Here. All right, people, we's on a cobia. Do you got any friends with you? That is awesome. Here, you, you want to reel him in? He's going to, like, go crazy. You sure? No, he's not. Hey, that's a keeper. Watch out. Dang, he is trying to pop that jig. All right, y'all, we've been chasing down these giant leatherback and, uh, well, I think they're just yeah, leatherback turtles. turtles, but just these giant sea turtles out here. Probably the most that we've ever seen out. I mean, we've probably come across like 20 Whoa. in the last hour, just hitting all these cans and buoys for cobia. Jeff just got hooked up. Uh, we saw a giant leatherback dove down, and so we kind of blind casted to it, and Jeff hooked up. Got on a keeper, cobia. Yes. He's just swimming right next to the boat. Um, big one. 
<laughs> big one. Get the big one. Get the big one. Look, he's just swimming right at the boat. Where's your buddies? We want to catch you guys. Ready? Here we go. Don't you know how to do this, right? Remember? There you go. Hold on, because he's gonna freak out. You gotta sneak attack him. I don't know. Here you go. Ready? All right, come up here, Mr. Cobia. Hmm. We out here. Come on, Mr. Cobia, where's your big friends at? Please be 40 inches. That was crazy. We we saw their uh, their dorsal fin swimming on that sea turtle. Coming in hot. Oh yeah, this guy is not done. All right. Come on, Mr. Cobia. I thought you was done by now. This guy is like digging. All right, here we go. Here you go. Here, Christy, Christy. Here. Oh, wow. You got him right under the net. Good job, babe. Okay, bail's open. Let's put him on the uh, bow. Here, hold the. I got this, babe. I got it. I got it. Hold it. Good job. Teamwork makes the dream work. We didn't argue. Wow. Well, uh, yeah. <sighs> Please be 40. All right, here we go. Cobia on the deck, y'all. Made it happen. Been out here for quite a while, hitting all the cans and buoys and tons of these giant leatherback sea turtles out here. And pretty much just been cruising around. There's actually a, a giant sea turtle right there. Is there? Yeah, right there. Yeah, it is. Oh, he's 40? Yeah. Solid. We gonna keep him? Check to the yeah. All right, people, we got a keeper, Cobia, in the boat. That was our mission today, a little afternoon session out here on the beautiful ocean, Mother Ocean. And babe, pretty work. That was awesome. That was pretty cool. Yeah. It's perfect eating size, too. Yep. We're catching cooking all day, baby. Um, <laughs> you guys, this is awesome. Our Cobia mission paid off. There he is. That is the perfect size cobia that we like to harvest. That's actually the first cobia that I've that we have harvested this year. I don't really like to keep much cobia, and I also like to um, just kind of as much as I can uh, be a proponent for catch and release, and especially especially to just I don't know like if there's people who are watching this video. And hopefully, I don't know, I'd like to start a movement. I know there already is one, but more of a catch and release fishery for these cobia. But you guys, we're out here, honestly, we're like the only people out here right at like the sunset, the uh, sun's about to go down. And this water is so slick calm out here that we are actually able to see uh, sea turtles, like their heads up on top of the water, pretty good ways away. So we just got lucky on this one and there was cobia on this turtle. We're just kind of blind casting around these big old leatherback sea turtles. So right now we need Christy. Christy. Uh-huh. I was motor girl. Thanks to me. You were spotter. I was spotter and netter. <laughs> There's no animosity on this boat whatsoever, people. I can look you straight in the eye and tell you that I'm not lying, that there's no there's no animosity on this boat. What? We were just talking. Listen to how hollow his head is. Christy was saying it's because they're so dumb. <laughs> they are dumb. They wow. come up to the boat with all their friends. They're like, hey guys, catch me. <laughs> wow. Okay, here it is. <laughs> this is the cobia that we are going to be filleting. We're going to be cooking, grilling. Get a little slow pan here. We are going to be grilling this cobia, so um, that's going to be the program. 
and that's gross. What is it? That just came out of his butt. All right, so today we're gonna be filleting this cobia. I like to use a serrated blade um, just because these cobia are bigger of a fish and also they don't have scales. They have like leathery skin. So the serrated blade works really nice. So all we're gonna do is we're just gonna start right here and you can actually feel where it goes from like the brain and the, all that gross stuff to the meat and it gets kind of soft right in here. So that's where we are gonna make our first cut. Wow, look how good that knife is. And then what I like to do is actually take this knife the non serrated one, the smooth knife. And then I actually like to make one small incision, just kind of like right down the spine. As far as like cutting wise, they seem pretty easy to fillet because it's not like you're sawing for really hard scales. Um, They can be tough if people like kind of rush it or they make like the wrong cuts. Um, so it's something that you kind of do want to just like take your time with. So. That's all we did is we just made one cut right down the spine, just like that. And then I opened it up, the filet right there, just cut just like that. I wish in our fishery that they would make it a slot for cobia, similar to like snook fishing in Florida. I wish that you could only harvest cobia. Um, as I'm flaying this also, you guys, they have these like pen bones on the spine. So their spine is like super, super thick. These cobia are like prehistoric um, and they actually have some really, you can see up here, these are like are those crazy? Really sharp like spines. So cobia are, they, I think they were like swimming around during like dinosaur times and all that stuff. So it's like a alligator. They've been around forever, but I wish in our fishery, I wish that there was a slot. And I wish that the slot was like 37 to... 45? Yeah, uh, or like 43, 44, or even like a really tight slot. See these like pin bones, right? And all you gotta do is literally just, when you like put your blade on it, it'll release from it. The bigger the cobia, obviously the bigger these pin bones. It's a huge fillet. I know. Wow. My buddy, Ben Morris, He's an awesome cobia guide in the Outer Banks. And he fillets his cobia on a dock, just like this. On the ground? Yeah, on the ground. It's probably yeah. better leverage, is that why? Yeah, it's kind of easier, because this fillet can uh, kind of cut it in, you know, not, I don't know, to be able to look down on pond your, I don't know, to like cut your fillet from this angle is, in my opinion, it's a little easier. Man, look how white that meat is. Yeah. Can you eat it, sushi? Oh my gosh, yeah. I'm gonna eat it as sushi when we're- Guys, check out this filet. That is a huge piece of meat right there. Look how big this filet is. All right. Here we go. Look at that. Oh, Beautiful. Look at that filet. This cobia filet. This is like, this is a 43 inch cobia, barely over the legal size. So again, just this one filet right here, you've got one, two, three. I mean, this could feed Five people. Eight, eight people. Eight people, easy, just one side. Taking the, like, the skin off of the meat is also pretty easy because, yeah, they're like leathery skin. It's like near impossible to cut through it. So, look at this. Yeah, look at that bloodline. Definitely. Look at that skin. That's crazy. You could like make a belt out of it. I was that. just thinking that you could probably dry it and do something with it. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, I don't like to cut these down too much because even, even like this meat right here is still going to taste good. Just, it's a nice little cobia steak. All right guys, we're here at the grill and Jeff is actually letting me grill today. I've got some grill skills. Yeah. I used to grill back in the day before I met Jeff. So anyway, we've got our two cobia fillets. Jeff is a hungry man. So cobia steaks. Cobia steaks, look how thick these things are. We we're just about sprayed to... it down with some olive oil. All right, so we're gonna get a little olive oil going and then we've got a whole bunch of seasonings. Got some of the goods over here. All right, so we've got Montreal steak and then we've got, all right Jeff, what's next? Basil. Ooh. 
I can never go around with a little basil. You don't need a lot though. Awesome thing with this is that we are not gonna season these fish too heavily. I don't even want garlic on this. What? Maybe just a little bit. Oregano. <laughs> Oregano. I let Jeff pick out all the seasonings. They're all juiced up, That's seasoned fine. up. It's good, it's right here. And we're gonna throw these bad boys on. Jeff, how long do these have to cook? Not that long at all. Yeah, you guys wanna keep an eye on them. We're gonna put them on. All right, y'all, there it is. Boom. Grilled cobia. Look how good that looks. Oh my gosh, that smells. All right, what do you guys rate me for style points with the little uh, cilantro on there? Solid eight. So, a solid eight? I give you a nine out of 10 for filleting. All I get is a solid eight. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna wait. We're just gonna hang out, take a little dip in our pool. Guys, check out how clean our pool is. I cleaned it, just kidding. I have a pool guy, his name is Jeff. Y'all, check out how white and flaky this meat is. I just opened the lid because these guys are getting done. Got the nice grill marks on there, super seasoned. Man, these are gonna be so good, but honestly, y'all, cobia meat tastes so good. Here it is, people. Look at, look at that. All right, into close-up. Cobia steak. Actually, He's having cobia to... with a side of cobia. That's right. <laughs> no sides so. tonight, but check that out. Cooked all Ooh. the way through. That's grilled. So tender. Grilled cobia. Mm. There it is. Wow. Money shot. Grilled cobia, y'all. It literally tastes like chicken and steak together. And it's awesome. amazing. There it is. All right, guys. There we go. Grilled mm. cobia for y'all. Fresh off the press. Fresh off right the grill. Off, right off the press. But anyway, you guys went out, yep. got on some cobia, That's and right. did a little catch and cook for y'all. Pulled it off a leather back. If you guys try and cast around those sea turtles, make sure that you're really, really, really careful. And that you don't hook a sea turtle. That's right. All right, so, guys. I'm going to go ahead, eat this cobia, and watch the Olympics. <laughs> All right. Peace out. Peace out, guys.